Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough of Zed Shaw's exercises in Learn Python the hard way. We're actually going to be looking at the command line crash course, which serves as sort of a prerequisite for this. If you're at learnpythonthehardway.org, that's where we are right now, you can click here to get to the index on that little hierarchy thing. And we wait a second. In the table of contents, I'm going to scroll here to the bottom to command line crash course. Click on that. Now you see we have a much shorter index because there's not as much stuff right here. I want to go through exercise one, which is the setup. So I'm going to click on that one right there. All right, now what this is telling you is how to get this stuff uh, get to the command line on your computer. Um, the instructions are a little different if you have a Mac, I have a Mac, or if you have Windows or if you have Linux, and I'm going to assume that if you have Linux you know how to do all this mm -hmm. stuff anyhow. But I'm just going to talk about um, how to do this on the Mac. That's the one I can demonstrate to you. You want to use a program that's called the terminal. And um, there's a few ways to get to it. One is if you open up your applications folder, and I'm just going to go to the finder, and here's my applications folder with my find applications in them. And it's in the utilities folder. So if I, I double click on utilities, this is a bunch of stuff that you probably never messed with. But this one right here, that is the terminal. By the way, I've, I have my settings to show the dot app or the dot whatever um, uh, for my uh, files. But another way to get to it, get to it and the one that I use more often but another way to get to it and the one that I use more often is to use um, spotlight now that's this little magnifying glass here in the corner you can either click on that and type something in or even better is the keyboard command if you hold down command which is to the immediate left or right of the space bar hold that down and then hit the space bar that brings up spotlight and you just type tar then you just start typing in terminal and uh, you see there it is right there at the top it's right there. I can just uh, click on that or hit return when it's open. And the terminal is going to open up for me. And there it is. It's that black thing. It looks different depending on how you have it set up. I went for the matrix look with the green on the black. But um, that's the terminal. And that is where we have the command line. And that's what we're going to be dealing with here. Now you see at the top it actually has the name of my user folder, Bart. That's my home folder. And then it has bash, which stands for born again shell, uh, which really is a name for the shell or the command line interface. That basically means command line. And that's just telling us how many uh, characters we, it's 80 characters wide and 24 characters deep right now. But uh, that's all you got to do. And if you want to, if you're on a Mac, you can just download that. You can pull it down into your uh, dock and it'll stay there forever. But searching for it's really easy. If you have Windows, you're going to be using a different program called PowerShell. Now, Zed makes a point that a lot of people use a program called CMD for Command Execute. It says, but use PowerShell instead. And what you do is you go to Start, you hit Search Programs and Files, type in PowerShell, hit Enter. And then once you get in there, it's very, very similar to what we have. Next, we have some instructions. Uh, well, there's Linux. You get to do it on your own. And then we have a list of commands. Now, in the last one, I talked about either writing these down on 3 by 5 cards. That's what Zed recommends. And I also showed you that you can get an app that runs on your phone um, uh, called Quizlet. And a lot of people have put these uh, flashcards into Quizlet. Easy to get. And then you can start uh, learning things like find and cat and less. Uh, commands that we're going to be using a lot. There's the Windows version. Some of them are slightly different. So if you're using Windows, make sure you get the Windows version of the um, command line cards. Anyhow, that's it. So that's the end of the exercise one, the setup. Hopefully you'll have it up and running and I'll see you at the next one.